Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video you will learn how to properly use the ordinary lactic acid and hyaluronic acid in one routine. And yes, you can also combine them. This is actually a great PM skincare routine which can help you if you have dehydrated skin, if you have dull and rough and bumpy skin and you just want to smoothen the skin texture as well as brighten your complexion and also reduce the look of fine lines. If those are your concerns which you want to target, then using those two products in your routine is also a great combination and I'm going to show you exactly how you can use them, how you can properly layer them, how much you need to use of each product so that it also feels great on the skin. But I also want to talk about the conflicts which we shouldn't forget when also using lactic acid. But before we're getting started with those specific steps, I do want to remind you that it's important to start off with step number one, which is also washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser for your skin type. And the market is full of different cleansers. Here are just a few options which I personally like myself. Of course, if you have a different one at home, that's totally fine. Just make sure that it also fits with your skin and needs and skin type the best. Now what does a cleanser do? Well, it can help you to remove any excess oil, dirt, leftovers of your makeup as well as leftovers of your sunscreen. So that you also have a freshly washed and clean face before moving on to the next step, which is also going to be a leave-on skincare product. Therefore, washing your face is definitely a step that shouldn't be skipped. Now I have already washed my face so that I can immediately move on to the next steps. Now I do want to be very specific and already talk about the conflicts of lactic acid. Now lactic acid is a leave-on exfoliant that can help you to exfoliate your skin so that you also will have a little bit more of an even skin tone, reduce the look of fine lines as well as also shed off any dead skin cells so that you're also getting rid of that rough and bumpy skin texture. So therefore it's also important to understand first of all what lactic acid does what it is and also the conflicts. Now when using lactic acid in your skincare routine, please be aware of the specific ingredients as well as products which you also may have at home and you're thinking of using it but you aren't sure if you can. And those are also products that containing strong acids, peptides as well as antioxidants like EUK. Now you can also see the list of different products from the ordinary which shouldn't be used in the same routine when using lactic acid. And also keep an eye of the different ingredients like the different acids like glycolic acid, um, mandelic acid, salicylic acid. Those are still exfoliating acids which shouldn't be used in the same routine with lactic acid as well as the peptides. So please keep this in mind when also building your routine that you know what works the best for your skin but still also that you get most out of your products. Now people think well I have toners at home, I have different exfoliants at home, what can I use? Well you can include a toner in your skincare routine as long as it doesn't include any like exfoliating acids, as long as it doesn't include any peptides or EUK. Now I do want to give you a specific example since I know that this may sound very confusing as the ordinary has for example the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution where it mentions the word toning in it plus Pixi Beauty has also a glow tonic toner which it also mentions toner but still has a 5% of glycolic acid in it. Those two is, it's like a mix, it's like an exfoliant plus toner in one. So when using lactic acid in your routine, please do not use any of those toners which are also exfoliators at the same time, as this may irritate the skin and I do want to, like I, I, it's not my intention that you also get an irritation, it's my intention to also make you aware of the different conflicts so that you will get the best experience when also using the different products. So therefore it's really important to understand for what ingredients you should look for, what works and what doesn't. Now I want to give you an example. For example, with this toner right here, this is a very soothing toner. You can also go ahead and use a an hydrating toner if you have one at home, as long as it doesn't include any peptides, EUK or other strong acids that can exfoliate the skin. 
So therefore using a toner is optional if you want to include one and you check the ingredients list and nothing is in there which may conflict with lactic acid, go ahead and use it. Otherwise you can also skip on the toner or if you don't want to use a toner at all that's totally fine. You can immediately move on to the application of lactic acid. Now again, lactic acid is a leave-on exfoliant, which basically means that you can also apply it with your hands. You're going to apply it evenly all over your face and neck area and then also leave it on the skin. Now you may also feel like if you're reading on the back of the packaging right here that it says contact of product with the skin must be of limited frequency or duration. Well, I've got that question many times and um, I also contacted the ordinary customer service to really make sure that I understood it correctly. And basically what they have written back to me is that lactic acid does not need to be washed off the skin after the application. Given it's a direct solution, it's not recommended using the product in your routine for a very long like, period of time. And generally speaking, you may either use it for only when the skin feels rough or you may want to use it for a period of time, then post the usage of the product. The time period does not need to be accurately monitored. You may just make the judgment depending on how your skin is feeling. So based on that, you basically have to listen to your skin. If your skin feels rough and bumpy, include lactic acid in your skincare routine. If you feel like that it also has improved the skin texture of your routine, you can also stop it and maybe try out something else if you're also curious um, with other skincare products, that's totally fine. So you can basically use it on and off so that you also really make sure that it also fits your skin needs and do not use it too much because if you're going to use it for such a long time it may also can at a certain point irritate your skin which we definitely don't want and you also have to listen to your skin you also have to like um, basically have a closer look at your skin how your skin is behaving when using different exfoliants it's not only lactic acid it, this happens with all the other leave-on exfoliators that you're making sure to also watch out for your skin what it basically tells you now after you have washed your face you may have included toner or you skip it you now can also move on to lactic acid now with lactic acid since it also has a very thin texture and basically it has like a water-like texture i usually recommend with those serums that you're going to use between one to three drops but in this case i also do recommend using between two to four drops but before you're going to apply it to your face, I highly recommend doing a proper patch test. I have a video about doing a patch test with lactic acid in a top right corner for you so that you also make sure that you're doing the patch test correctly to avoid any skin irritation. And then when the patch test went well, no irritation has happened, you can also start using it on your face. This is just like a little bit more secure to make sure that everything is fine with your skin. Now usually with lactic acid I tend to use between 3 to 4 drops for the entire face and neck area. If you feel the need to use a bit more you can do so, just please make sure to not get it into your eyes and do not get it too close around the eye area. This is really important since it still exfoliates your skin and it's an acid. And then basically what you can do is also pat it with your hands also all over the skin and then gently blend it into the skin. Now I'm just going to use four drops. I like to use it in the palm of my hand so that I can also blend it evenly between my hands and then start patting it into the skin. Now some people prefer to use their fingertips instead of the palm of their hand. That's fine too. Some people also prefer to use the drops immediately onto their face and then start blending it into the skin. That's fine too. Please make sure to find the best like application method for your needs and also what basically works the best. And once I'm done with also patting it into the skin, I then go ahead and also blend the rest into the skin. And you will also notice that when already blending it into the skin, that it already sinks into the skin, which is a good sign, which also means that you haven't used too much and your skin is also able to fully absorb the product and also won't have any leftovers on top of your skin. Now with lactic acid, when it comes to how often you should use it, well, this depends on your skin. Some people can use it daily, other people prefer to use it every other day. 
However, if you're new to assets, first of all, the ordinary has two uh, lactic assets. One is like with 5%, the other one is with 10%. If you want to try out lactic acid and you're new to assets, please go with the lowest one with the 5% before moving on to the highest one. And then, when also start including it in your skin routine, after you're done with the patch test and then you it, like everything went fine, you also start applying it on your face and neck area, please make sure that you start off with using it every other day. See how your skin responds. Some people prefer to use it only once per week. Some people prefer to use it like three times per week and others can use it daily. So this depends on how your skin responds. I do not recommend starting off right away with using it daily as this can like basically give you more harm than good um, as it may also be too new for your skin so you also have to give your skin a bit of time to adjust to a new product so therefore start with using it every other day before using it more often. And this is also individual. I can't tell you how often you should choose it because you may have a different skin tolerance or different skin issues as I do. So therefore, you have to try it out, see what works the best, listen to your skin, like analyze your skin, and based on that, you can also do the changes. Now, once you're done with the application of lactic acid, which is your third step if you're including a toner, as it is a leave-on exfoliant, you now can also move on to hyaluronic acid. Now, hyaluronic acid is an hydrating serum. It shouldn't be confused with other acids, even though it mentions the word acid in it. Hyaluronic acid is a sugar that does not exfoliate the skin. It adds hydration to the skin. So therefore, you are fine to use hyaluronic acid with lactic acid. So please do not confuse it. Even though it mentions acids, those are two like different topics. They have like a different job to do. Lactic acid exfoliates the skin. Hyaluronic acid adds hydration to the skin. And so when using hyaluronic acid after lactic acid, you can also go ahead and use between one to three drops for the entire face and neck area. If you prefer to also use a bit more, you can do so. Just please make sure to also um, find the right balance for your skin and needs so that you also won't have any like leftovers on top of your skin, that it also is able to fully sink into the skin. Now, for me personally, I prefer to also go with two drops. Again, the way that you're going to apply it to your skin is basically up to you. I just prefer to use it in the palm of my hands and then start patting it into the skin. However, I do recommend start off with patting it into the skin instead of rubbing it into the skin. And once you're done with patting it into the skin, you start gently blending it into the skin. But I do not recommend rubbing since you may come across the foaming effect which is completely normal if you rub a water-based like, product into the skin since you're basically going to put air under the serum and therefore it also starts to foam. So that's completely normal, but you can avoid it by patting it into the skin rather than rubbing it into the skin. And then when also using more than one water-based serum and depending also on the formulations what you're going to use afterwards, you may also come across the peeling issue, which looks like your skin is going to flake off, but it's not your skin, it's a product that you just have applied or a previous water-based product, so that you're going to make sure that this doesn't happen. It looks like your skin is going to flake off, but this tells you that you may have used too much or that it couldn't really fully soak into the skin, that you have uh, like rubbed it too harsh into the skin, that you're going to rub it off instead of like pressing it into the skin with a padding method, or depending on what moisturizer you may you want to use afterwards or your sunscreen this can happen as well because like two formulations do not do well with each other so there are a few options why peeling can happen but i still do want to mention them in case you may come across this issue now after you're done with the hyaluronic acid like application you can also now go ahead and either follow it with an oil if you prefer to or also with your moisturizer However, I also do want to share with you a little tip in case lactic acid may be a little bit too harsh for you and you also want to dilute it. And therefore, I'm also going to show you how you can dilute it with your moisturizer. Now, when using a moisturizer and you're going to dilute lactic acid with it, I recommend using about a pea size amount of your moisturizer, a bit more, so that you can also evenly apply it all over your face and neck area and then using between one to three drops of lactic acid. Basically mix it and then apply it to your face.
So I now have the moisturizer in the palm of my hand as well as lactic acid. And now you can also go ahead and basically mix it in the palm of your hand so that you also can dilute lactic acid so that it also um, isn't as strong as when using it on its own. And this is also a great advice that I can give you if you want to build up the skin tolerance um, just in case it may also irritate the skin when using lactic acid on its own. So this is also a great tip that I can share with you, which you can try out if this would be the case for you. But I do want to mention that please only apply lactic acid once. Either apply it as I just did on its own, or you are going to apply it while diluting it with your moisturizer, for example. This is also really important so that you also won't irritate the skin and do not apply it twice in the same routine. So now after you also saw how you can use lactic acid and hyaluronic acid after each other, now that you also saw how you can dilute it, I'm going to finish it off with my moisturizer. Now as already mentioned, you can use this one in your PM skincare routine. This is also what is preferred since lactic acid can make your skin sensitive to the sun. However, what you also can do, depending on your preference, instead of using a moisturizer as your last step in your PM skincare routine, you can also follow it up with your oil that you personally prefer. Again, with an oil, go with one to three drops and apply it, similar as I just showed you with hyaluronic acid, evenly all over your face and neck area, and then you're going to leave it on the skin, since this is your last step in your PM skincare routine. Personally, I prefer using a moisturizer over an oil. Therefore, I'm going to use a pea-sized amount of the moisturizer and apply it also evenly all over my face and neck area. So, and once you're done with the application of your oil or moisturizer in your evening skincare routine, this is already basically it. This is the last step in your PM skincare routine. However, please, when moving on to the next day and you're going to do your AM skincare routine, please do not forget as your last step to also use a good sunscreen, which can also protect the skin, not only because of the sun, not only because it can help you from like staying young, but also because you're using lactic acid in the evening, which still can also make the skin sensitive to the sun. So when using lactic acid, please always follow it up with a good sunscreen in the morning. Now, after you are done with the entire application, again, you're going to leave everything on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And this is also how you can go to bed. Now, this is basically what I wanted to share with you. I also do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please also don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And yeah, we'll see you soon in the next one. And happy skin caring. Bye.